So, thought I'd show you our big haul from AutoZone. Basic windshield wipers, a replacement light in a box. <laughs> So we're going to do something about the muffler today. So you can see it's in pretty bad shape. Uh, it's just kind of barely hanging on and it's rusted through. So we're going to replace this with a cherry bomb and then we've got a turn down and we're just going to dump it right off the end there. I just cut the old muffler out with the sawzall. Uh, it just cut right through the old pipe. So I just got back from AutoZone again because the muffler we had was the wrong one. So this is the new setup. We got a piece of straight pipe that fits over the original exhaust. I guess they, they call it the Y pipe. So it comes from the manifolds down and then terminates there. And it's got a hanger on a bracket. And then we'll pick up from there. We'll clamp on that section so this is removable. And we've got this straight section. We've got our cherry bomb muffler. And then we've got a turn down at the end. And then I'm going to use one of these holes in the frame. And we've got a hanger, like a rubber hanger bracket that will mount a like quarter inch rod that'll bend up. So we're going to start off just welding this joint. So this part slips in, so we'll just kind of do a lap joint along here. And then same on this end, this extension slips over, so we'll just do a lap joint around there. And that should be good for sealing off the exhaust. And then we'll have a hanger coming off of here. And then this end is supported by a hanger already. So I'm going to tack it up now. I've got it set up on some jack stands just so I can keep everything in line and we'll see what happens. All right, so it's tacked up. Seems like it's welding pretty decent. I'm going to go ahead and try and lay a bead. straight of a line but it seems like it welds pretty easily I guess it's all mild steel so it should so I'll just do a few of those all the way around make sure they're all connected and sealed up and then we'll switch over to the other side by welding this kind of junction between the two and then I went around and laid a really heavy bead through the cherry bomb muffler so we should get a good like fusion between I'm not going to touch anything because it's hot but the outer pipe and the inner pipe and then I also made sure that it was sealed all the way around the lip here so I don't know if that's the right way to do it or not it worked we lit some paint on fire but should be good to go and then we'll head up the other side and maybe throw it on the truck. So I need to take a little bit off this turn down just so it fits up better on the end of the other pipe and then we'll get that welded in. $15 on Craigslist, best thing I've ever bought. attach what we just fabricated onto the existing pipe. I'm just using one of these exhaust clamps. Uh, this way we can take that section off if we need to. It'll make the whole thing a little easier and then I don't have to try and weld under the truck. There's no need for that so this should do. I just finished welding on the bracket onto the exhaust so I'll go clamp that up next. So we've got the new exhaust mounted up. It clamps back under the cab and then got the muffler. It just turns down over here. 
Nothing too fancy. Hopefully it's not too loud. basically grinding off all of the rust in the bed um, and prepping it to bed liner it. So I used the wire wheel with the grinder on the bottom part here, took off some of the flaking paint, um, ground down some rust, and then I used the random orbital sander on the side walls because none of that was really rusty. Um, it just needed to be scuffed up in order to properly um, adhere the bed liner. So what's interesting, something that I noticed um, as I was going through this, is that the original paint job, there are like all of these drips everywhere, <laughs> which is kind of funny and makes me feel amazing because I feel like if the original paint job was this crappy, I can totally match that. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. So Faith's got the bed cleaned out now and she's putting some tape around the edges. And then next up, we're going to put some primer on the rust spots anywhere they got sanded down to bare metal and we'll prime that and then the truck bed liner will go on next. So face fitting the bed with some primer now. It's getting all the rusty spots and then once this is dry, we're ready for the bed liner. Faith is over here putting the bed liner in. This bed smells awful. Yeah, it smells terrible. We're using Rust-Oleum bed liner from Walmart. Nothing too fancy, but it looks great so far. Just smells terrible. All right, so I just got the first coat of truck bed liner on the truck. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna let it dry for two hours, like the instructions say. Um, and then after that, I'll apply a second coat. I'll wait a couple more hours after that and then check it out, see if there's any more touch-up that needs to happen. There are definitely some spots that showed through a little bit, but it looks way better already. Faith's getting the second coat of bed liner in now. We waited about two hours for it to dry and we'll see how this goes on. It's looking really good so far. Josh also stopped by and helped us flip the bed up on its edge so we can get to the bottom side now. The, um, the truck liner has dried and it seems pretty solid so far. So next up we're going to grind down all the paint on here and spray it with some black rust-oleum like industrial paint. Currently scraping mud and grease off the underside of the bed. Um, prepping it so that I can paint the underside with that same Rust-Oleum black paint um, that we use on the frame so that we can prevent any rust from happening to the underside of the bed since, since it is in such great condition. So we got the bed mostly ground down. They've spent a lot of time on this. Uh, now it's all just covered in dust from you know, everything we grind off is just sticking back to it. So we're gonna clean up for tonight, let the dust settle, and then try and wash it off tomorrow. And then it should be ready for paint. So for a $10 gun, it's doing a decent job, um, but overall it's not that high quality because we don't have a huge compressor, it sucks up a lot of air, and it is really intermittent in being able to work. Um, it also is really splattery, um, so you're not going to get a very clean finish with this, which is fine because this is the underside of the bed, um, but it did make us reevaluate what we're going to use on the overall paint job. The compressor we're using is this Husky 20 gallon. It does 5.2 CFM at 40 PSI, and the gun uses six 
CFM at 40. So we really can't run continuously with this, which is unfortunate. wiring harness to plug in the lights and then we've got bed bolts so these are from Home Depot they are pretty hefty so that's what $20 worth of bolts looks like so we've got the bed back on and both the uh, truck bed liner is in and the underside of the bed is coated and we have the muffler on so we're gonna start this up and show you what it sounds like <laughs> 